Hi guys, this is Joanne. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to do a scrap our stash design team for March. And this is the wheel challenge, which you saw a picture of at the beginning. We have to do springtime and use flowers on our layout, which is super fun and right up my alley because it's exactly what I want to do. I am going to do a layout in my little album here. I think that this is like a planner calendar type thing, but I picked it up on clearance at Tuesday morning and I'm going to make a little mini album out of it instead because I love it. And I am currently obsessed with making things for this little album. It's just super pretty. So I went and put a charm on it. I think I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. I just put a little hole in it with my crocodile and made that charm and then you open it up and look how super cute this is i love it i just put a little picture over here and then put some ephemera over here and this is a little pull out i haven't put anything on it yet but i figured i'll put a picture or something in there so that's cute and this came with it a little piece of acetate and i put some puffies right on that so it would match this and then here is some vellum and I just left this I put some gold splatters here but that goes over that perfectly doesn't it so I love this it's super pretty and then what I'm doing is just taking these pieces that are really sturdy in the album and covering them to make sure that I have pattern paper over it and just to make this super sturdy kind of like chipboard in the middle so this is i'm just gonna leave plain because it looks really good like that and then here's a layout i did this was for pink fresh fridays and when i started that i said i am going to make this entire album be only pink fresh studio so that's what i'm doing so we are going to go ahead and make a layout on page two super fun so let me go ahead and take these out of there. I did go ahead and put some cardstock down on this piece of paper and I punched the holes in it. So there's gonna be my two little pages for my layout. And I'm going to do a border punch on them. Isn't that beautiful? This is Creative Memories. And it's just a little punch that you use. I love this so much. Um, I am a Creative Memories consultant. If you are in the need for any products i will put my link below if you have your own consultant please do go ahead and use them if you need anything all right so i punched this out and i'm using pink fresh studio happy blooms for this particular layout i have a bunch of stuff that i want to do but look i have all this stuff picked out and it's one of these journal cards super pretty look at my pictures oh my gosh my kitten okay so we're going to use some pictures of her today and put these in there and what i was thinking about doing is putting the border like this and then i'll have to just cut it right here like that and then put this pretty journal card on this side and then we can go ahead and just tuck her picture right in there like that I think that's just different and super cute and we'll put this picture over here and let's see like that and then I was thinking maybe we could put this special piece of ephemera under here and then I went ahead with my thickers line guide ruler and picked out her name in a pink that I thought matched this really well so I'm going to put it right there something like that all right so we'll put that to the side for now and i've got enamel dots picked out and i've got some gems picked out and then let me see also we have puffies of course the cardboard stickers and this is the alphas i use i don't know what collection these alphas are from but i do know that they're pink fresh studio i can't remember so I was thinking that we could get a couple cute things in here. I have a little pink tag I could use and love this sticker. I want to get those on there, definitely. See if we can get some puffies. And then I cut butterflies out. I fussy cut them from one of the pattern papers. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. 
and I have some pink fresh gems I was thinking about using and I made these little flowers from the papers and it's just a metal die from in love art shop and I put some pink fresh gems right in the middle of the flowers I used these on a previous layout and I had these leftover extra so I said let's use up our stash so I'm going to go ahead and get these two border strips glued down and these things glued down and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have this all glued down and adhered down and I did take the opportunity to put my title down as well. So I was thinking we could put like every other like that. That would be pretty. Let's go ahead and get those glued down. I'm just going to put a bunch of glue in the middle. And just put those on there and I will do oops that didn't stick at all try that again I will do exactly the same thing on the other side and one more Give that a second to dry. And then, like I said, I want to try to get a couple of these in. So let's get this tag and that I love you, or love this, I meant to say, off here. And let's see if we can get it on somewhere. So I think the best thing to do with this is to cut it in half. I had a pair of scissors. Here they are because it's really big and why waste it if I can use it in two separate spots either now or on a different layout that would be great maybe right here so let's turn this and see if we can sneak that in there so I'll just take my oops excuse me take my tweezers and try to go under there lift up the ATG that I put down and I put a ton down because I don't want it to pop up Because, like I said, there are no page protectors on this. So maybe I'll just stick that right in there. Let's make sure it's straight. That's pretty good. Turn that back down. But just for a little something. Maybe I can put one over here. Above this picture. Again, with my tweezers. Just going to try to pull this up a little bit. There we go. Stick that in there. See if it looks good. If not, we can just pull it back out. I don't mind that. It's kind of cute. All right, we have that used up. And then, let me see. Love this. Maybe we can put this under here. That's good with me. I think it's straight. There. Okay, so I don't see anything else on the sticker sheet that I liked. Well, I like everything, but for this, that's good. Yep. All good with that one. So that's great. Now, um, let's see, I have the butterflies to put on. I picked out some Bramble Fox perspective, just some little hearts and an XO. We'll see if we can get those in. These are new. They come in red and white. And those are in the Bramble Fox shop right now. If you want some, I'll link that below. And what I was thinking about doing is taking these gems and they come in small, medium, and large. And I want the large ones because I thought it would look cute. They're all escaping at me here. If I put a large one in each one of these holes, let's see. Just kind of have to go through. Oh, I got two. Excellent. So, 
do that. All right. I'm going to need one more. Oh, there's one. Okay, perfect. Oh, I got a small one with it. Do that. What do you think? Let me get this up close so I can show you. I think it's cute. I love that. That is super pretty. I think it's very adorable. So now let's see if we can get anything else on here. I definitely want to do some of these butterflies because I love butterflies. So let's see where we would have some good placement for those. I like this one and this one. So let's go ahead and get that one down. Just do the middle for now. And I will put some foam squares under the wings. If it was going in a page protector, I would not do that. But because it's not in a page protector, I think that it's going to get flattened. So I want to definitely go ahead and put some in there. Okay, and then we're going to take our honeybee stamp gems. I just have a little package of all my little jemmies. Grab those out of here if I can my goodness okay and then I'm not sure about this one yet so I'm not even gonna bother gluing it down so I'll just take these and do one two and three gems right in the middle of the butterfly again over here one two oops i lost that one it popped right off my tweezers three okay we could go ahead and put one up here in the border yeah i like that let's do that so we'll just go through the process again put glue in the middle and then i push down with my tweezers while i hold the wings up I will grab two more foam squares and I don't know where I got these. I think I got these foam squares at Hobby Lobby, if I am not mistaken. They have pretty good foam squares there. I got some from scrapbook.com once and they were horrible. Worst foam squares ever. So I'll never do that again. All right, so here's my gems again. Same thing, three of them. It's just a little thing that I like to do. You don't have to put jemmies in the middle of your butterflies. They look perfectly beautiful without them. But I like bling, so we're using bling. All right, so this flower is bothering me. I don't think it's glued down well enough over here. So I'm just going to put some glue down there and press. Let's see if we can get some of these hearts and stuff in there. Not sure exactly where. Maybe here. Oh, that, you know what? Super cute right there. Like that. Yep, I like it. And then where can I put this XO? Yeah, that's not bad right in the middle like that like underneath the words that say special memories let's do that okay back again with the glossy accents hopefully you didn't get clogged in that short period of time take my tweezers and put that down because it's so tiny i don't want to drop it and some smushed out so i just take my tweezers and I hold my perspective down and then I just grab the excess glue that came out the sides. And there's some in here too that I just want to get out of there. See? Much better. This one is so tiny. Oh my goodness. Very, very little bit of glossy accents on this one. And I am going to try to put this down with my hand. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so those are down. Let's put this XO down. Okay, put it right there. Hold it for a moment. The glossy accents adheres to the paper relatively quickly, honestly. Again, I'm going to go in and get any glossy accents that squeezed out the side when I pushed. It will dry clear, so you don't necessarily have to do this. It's just something I do. All right, so far, super cute. Look at Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we have the florals, and it's very springtime. Um, I'm thinking, let me think. What else do I have? I have a really cute button from my girlfriend Karen's button shop that I really want to get in here somewhere because it's so cute, but I don't know where to put it. Maybe I'll tuck it in this butterfly over here. Does that look good? No, it really doesn't. I wish I knew where to put that. It's so cute. I like to tuck my flares in places. Maybe I can tuck right here. I don't mind that. So that means what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foam square out of there. Let me see. Check one more time to make sure that I like it. Yeah, I do like it. It's not bad. So I'm going to grab a bigger foam square. Put it underneath here. And it's going to be just a little bit too big. So I'm going to snip a little bit of it off here. Put this to the side so I don't stick that to anything on accident. Peel the back off that and then put it right in there. And then what I can do is put a little bit of glue in there and glue the butterfly right to the button, which I think is adorable. Let's look at the poffies. I'm not sure. Oh God, there's a bee that's got to go in the garbage. I hate bees. Maybe this one right here would be cute just for a little bit of a floral right there. I don't mind that. Okay, that's going down. And I think that we need to put enamel dots on here. So let's do that. Okay, what colors? I think definitely the pink, obviously. Um, the green would look nice. So let's do pink, light green, and dark green. Because we don't have any purple. There's not really any blue on here besides that one blue flower in the edges of the butterflies. So yeah, let's do pinks. Um, it's going to be hard to figure out where to put these. Let's put one up here. We'll do tiny ones because this is a small layout. All right, there's one. And then should we put one here? I think we kind of have to put like another one in here. Let's do a small green here. I don't mind that. That's cute. All right. And then I'll put one over here. So we have three. I don't think this page needs two. So, you know what? Let's do a bigger green. And a smaller green. And then we'll do a tiny pink. On this side. Yep. I like that. All right, so enamel dots, puffy stickers are done. I don't think there's anything else that we could get in here. Um, here's a little teeny puffy sticker. Let me see if this would look cute in here. I just had an idea. 
and just kind of put that up a little bit more. I like that. Um, let's see if I can sneak this flower in under this butterfly. I don't mind that. I do think it needs to be on a tiny, tiny foam square, though, so let me grab one of these little teeny ones here. And these are the ones that I don't like from scrapbook.com. I cannot get the backing off them, and then when you go to take them out of the packaging, they fall apart. That one didn't do too bad, so hopefully it will be okay. Alright, so there's that puffy sticker there. And now that that's there, I'm wondering if we could put another little leaf in here coming out like that yeah that's cute I like it okay all right before I put too much on there let's go ahead and think about whether or not we're done I think we are I've got bramble fox and enamel dots I do have one more butterfly just wondering, do you think I should put one here? Just because I have it. I don't see why not. It might look really cute right there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, glue in the middle. Put it right there. And I've lost my tweezers. Push down. Bend the wings up. Alright, so let's do one, two, three again. One, and two, and a three. That's adorable. I love it. Very spring. It's got the florals on it that are the requirements. And I think the last thing that we are going to do is some splatters. Normally I would put gold splatters, but this is all very, very pink. So I'm thinking we're going to do pink splatters today. Does that sound good? I hope so, because that's what we're doing. I have my Alt New ink sprays. Frosty pink is what this color is. I think I'm done. Let's look close. It's so adorable. Let me see if I can get the light to hit those splatters. Probably not. But they're really pretty. Very gorgeous pink, and they dry, super shiny, sparkly, like a shimmer. And my little button, so cute. And then here's this side. Yep. I love it. I think this is adorable. I am super excited. And I am literally, like I said, obsessed with putting things in this little album. It's so cute. So we'll go ahead and stick this in here, being careful while it dries. And there you go, you guys. Now, I was thinking that since this is an album type thing, we're going to close this. Snap. Wouldn't it be cute to put this little puffy on here someplace? It's just like... um. A paper clip. I don't even know where I got these from. I'm going to guess that I picked them up at Tuesday morning, but I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what? I just remembered where I got them. I got them at the dollar store. There's a whole package of them in different colors for one dollar. There you go, you guys. Don't you love it? It's so pretty. I'm going to absolutely love this book, and it'll be something that I could carry around if I wanted to. So again, see? Just super pretty. Look at it. Happy blooms over here, too. I love it so much. Okay, I will take pictures and I will put close-ups at the end for you. I thank you so very much for stopping by to see me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, if you have something laying around in your craft room that you're not using, repurpose it and make something for yourself. <laughs>